This tutorial covers how you can create a new order within HIP Office, or whether you have an office manager yourself doing it. Uh, either of them would go through this uh, order wizard. This order wizard is very similar to what a client or real estate agent would see if they were booking through your website. Under orders in the main menu, I'm gonna click on new order wizard. You can jump to any of these tabs directly. Right now, I'm gonna go down, and if I wanted to add a new client, I would just click on add new client. I could type in all their information and add them. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and select client number one, Mr. Casey Dia. And in this case, I'll have two clients. I'll select Jane Doe, and I want them both to sign the contract. I have an agent, Agent Orn, and Orange, that's the buyer's agent. And in this case, I'm just gonna, for simplicity, say they're representing both sides, but I can also add new agents in here. These agents would be saved, they'd be imported directly into Home Inspector Pro and onto your report as well. So I could save it as a draft if I wanted to come back to this later, or I could save and go to the next screen. Okay, here we're gonna type in the address. Notice it auto-completes. fills out the information. You can try to get it to fetch property information from Zillow. Uh, most of the time, it'll be able to get that information. In this case, what I'm entering is a commercial property, so it probably won't. So you can see here, it says that it couldn't find any property information on this. Again, it's a UPS store, so not too surprising. Um, I'm gonna enter in the year it was built, or I can select from the dropdown. Age of the homes automatically calculated. I can type in any notes that I have. I can click and upload a photo. Uh, if the house was on Zillow, it would automatically grab that photo as well. Uh, I can also ask for directions. Right now, my start and end location is the same, so it's literally not giving me any distance. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you were driving somewhere else, it would give you the distance to that location. I'm gonna click Save and go to Next. Okay, my primary service, in this case, is a residential and the client also wanted me to do a mold inspection and a sewer scope. I could look at my inspection here and say I wanna do this on Tuesday the 10th. I do this inspection at 8 a.m. And since I'm entering this in right now, I can say, I'm gonna estimate this is gonna take me two and a half hours. If there were other orders on these days that I click on, they would show up here to help you find any conflicts with scheduling. There's nothing on that day, so I don't see anything else. Uh, the time slot falls outside my working hours. So uh, when I was setting this up, I said this inspector starts working at nine o'clock. This inspection's at eight. Do I want to start that early? Yes. Okay, based on the settings that were entered into our fees page and our services page that's described in another tutorial, the uh, services of the primary service being residential and the mold and the sewer scope, the prices were automatically entered in based on the square footage, um, distance and everything else. I can manually adjust them here right now if I wanted to and add a discount if I needed to. Subtotal $650. I wanted to add in any anything else in here, any single line items, I could do that right here with the plus sign. All right, this is just reviewing the settings. Uh, if you have any API integrations that would show, those would show up here. It's also asking things like, do I want the contract to be signed online and send the payment link? Uh, if this is checked, then everything will go through your normal scheduled emails. Uh, if the contract is gonna be signed offline, um, then I could uh, I can uncheck that. Uh, will the payment be done offline? I can go through here and check any of these. Like if I know the client's going to pay on site, I could check that box, and then a payment link is not going to be sent out. In this case, I want the client to pay online, so I'm going to check this box right here. Don't release the report until the payment is registered. Last page is going to show me a summary of all items. The residential inspection, mold and sewer scope are being done, house is built in 1980. I can go and edit anything if I needed to, 39 years old. Uh, it goes through all the different settings here. 
estimated 150 minutes, two and a half hours. Again, you can see the pencil if I wanted to add, edit any of these fields. And then I can come in here and click on create order. Yes, I want it to save. All right, the order was successfully created.